This episode, we're on one of the most expensive ships in the world. The brand new Celebrity Ascent. It cost an absolute fortune. Over a billion dollars. But what have Celebrity blown this budget on? This episode, we take our cameras around the ship for a fly-on-the-wall documentary so you can imagine firsthand what it's like. What is there to do every day? What would keep you amused, keep you titillated and enthralled? Let's find out. Welcome back to the Ritzy Travel Guide. My name is Bill and it's great to have you along with us. Last time in episode one, it was the ship's guide where we showed you top to bottom what the ship looks like and what facilities there are on board. If you haven't seen that one yet, you can watch it after this. This is episode two, our video diary edition, our more gossipy, light-hearted version. You'll see day by day what there is to do aboard and find out if it's a fun ship to be on, what's on offer and the type of fellow passenger you might meet. Our particular sailing was from Fort Lauderdale, which is normally sunny and baking hot, but on this occasion was cool and blustery, and our embarkation was smooth. We didn't bring a stopwatch, but I guesstimate it took all of five minutes. Well done, Celebrity. Other cruise lines can take forever. Hello, good morning. We were on and smelling the paint in a blink of an eye. It's sparkling. The paint is still fresh and glossy. It almost says wet paint don't touch. And as we boarded at lunchtime, for us, it was straight up to the Ocean View Cafe, as we were starting to get just a little bit peckish. Now, the buffet is open pretty much 24-7, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and several hours in between. So we're going to dip in and out throughout the day to see what's on offer at different times. It's like the beginning of a race. It's 11.45 in the morning, lunch is about to open. I feel like there's going to be a ribbon-cutting ceremony where everybody will parade in at great gusto to the food. Oh, rope drop. In we come. Well, let's take a look. Okay, chef's favorites. What do we have today? Now, this does change every day, but let's just see what we have today. We have a very tempting looking beef lasagna in the Asian section, chicken sambal. Now, I am partial for that, having lived many of my years in Asia, that one has got my name on it, along with some fish, some beef rundang. My goodness, this has definitely got my name on it. Huge portion of beef, that looks amazing. We have some roasted pork, some great looking chicken meatballs in a creamy sauce. Ooh, what's going in here in this huge hollowed out cheese? We have some mushroom risotto. I have to say that actually their anti-pasty section is a good section. Let's take a look at what desserts are on offer today for lunch. That lemon chillo immediately has my name all over it. Got some ricotta cake, some tiramisu, some pineapple mimosa, some strawberry panna cotta. All right, well, I didn't really need lunch, but I've taken one of the team here. I thought there's no point in filming the food, got to try it out. So here we go. We've got a little representative sample of what's on offer at lunch. I've gone predominantly Indian here and Malaysian. We've got some sambal, which is from Malaysia. We've got some beef rendang. We've got some butter chicken. And we've got Italian. I don't know why that's suddenly plonked on the table there just for a little bit of European colour. Let's take a stroll through the ship at night. Well, that's an interesting sculpture. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's all shiny and glitzy. And we're in Grand Plaza, which is the central atrium of the ship. We just set sail about 20 minutes ago, so we waved off goodbye to Miami and Fort Lauderdale. It, it is buzzing, but elegant buzzing is not cheesy. It's buzzing, isn't it? quick glance at Cafe Abache as we go by. We're gonna get tempted at every stop along the corridor. Okay, I succumbed. I was supposed to wait till dinner time, but they were looking so tempting. So I got three little tarts. Let's see if I get into trouble for bringing those back to the table. Um, I might have got tempted by some little tarts. So each have a challenge. You can stay away from the desserts the longest. Well, it wouldn't be much of a sail away event if we didn't have something to sail away with. Something sweet. Yes, there. There are those little tarts. Well, it wasn't me who lost the challenge. They do look good, don't they? Even in blue lighting, they look good. I know I broke the rules, really, but they are yummy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And 
tonight we're in the Normandy. You might not be able to tell from this camera, but it is very dark in here. You need to bring a flashlight to the restaurants here at Celebrity because it's dark. It's very dark. Having to strategically place the menus under a fairly non-existent light. Well, whatever light is there, we are putting our menu under it. We have baked brie with some sort of flicky, flicky, flicky decoration. Ah! It looks like a, a cheese bake, really. Yes, it's but it's scallop gratin. Ah, is it a case of hunting for your scallop? Was it a bit of a search job? Yes. Where's Wally gratin? Once you find it, though, it's very well cooked. Is it? Is it a good scallop? And for myself, I have got some beef on croute, which is known by a variety of names in different countries, also known as beef Wellington. I have to say that my beef on croute is very, very tasty. I'd have to also give that a solid 9 out of 10. Well, it's coming up to 7.30, which means it's time to go to the theatre. Let's see what's on tonight. We have a lady singer. Please welcome to the one and only, the county! After a late night of revelry and entertainment, you probably need to be woken up with a strong coffee. Where better to head off to than Café Al Baccio? And I wonder if we might bump in to the captain. Morning, morning. Busy, busy, busy. Uh... Honestly, it's not that really busy this cruise. We have a better crowd this cruise. Better crowd, is it? Crowd, Compared yeah. to last crowd. That was a lousy cruise, was yeah. it, last time? Yeah, was it? Like decisions, decisions. Ah, the captain's just come on. He's a quirky guy, I like him. What's he got to say? And he said... This is the only captain who actually speaks it as is. The captain just came on and he said, I know you couldn't care less about our position, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I like the cut of his jib. He's got a fantastic Greek accent, but you have to listen carefully. He's telling us the ship's position. Well, I can tell you ship's position. We're in the middle of nowhere. He says we can see Cuba on our right-hand side. Hang on a minute, let's have a look. Craning my neck for Cuba. Which he says of Cuba, do you think? He does. We're off Cuba, apparently. Maybe we should have a Cuban coffee in Cafe El Bacio. Do they have a Cuban coffee? But but what, have... what coffees do they have? What is going on? What is so popular? And I found out what? It's the captain. He's a star. Everybody's lining up to catch a moment with him. The ladies are all giddy. If you want to know where the ladies are aboard the ship this morning, they're here. I can tell you that for a fact. It's as if George Clooney had come. If you want to know where the ladies are on the ship this morning, they're here. I can tell you that for a fact. It's always got groupies. Positively giddy with anticipation and excitement. Hello. What am I looking here? Yes, he's taking measurements and announcements. So tell me, how is the captain? How is he up close? Is he swashbuckling and suave? I tell you what, the captain is the older lady's favorite. Does he have a sparkle in his eye? Yeah, he's the ladies' man. Look at him. All right, C Day. Bit of retail therapy. What have we got here aboard the ship? Let's have a look. I just want to say on camera. Yes. That my husband yes. will never buy this for me. Is will he not? Show? What a misery, guts. Why won't he buy you this? What is it? What? It's like Joseph's amazing Technicolor dream coat. What's going on here? I think when you hit a buffet. Go with meaningful intent, none of these half-hearted measures. Scan the whole proceedings, check out what's here, and then go with a certain amount of fortitude, because you know there's way too much here, you're probably going to be tempted, you're probably going to eat way too much, but then you're on a cruise. All right, OK, we'll start off with very good intent. We'll start off with the fruit that I know for a fact. We're going to be swinging immediately right here for the bacon, the hash browns, the beans, and the scrambled eggs. I think it also calls for some roast ham. I feel swimming and roast ham build you up. There we are. Look at that. Wasn't I restrained? Ah, here we go. I bet you it's something nice and healthy. 
Look at that. There's a healthy, colourful, vibrant selection. It's almost a mini work of art. I'm very impressed with that. It came with the compote, the yogurt. I added the blueberries and the pistachios. I must take a picture. It's a riot of colour. OK, we've just eaten 55,000 calories for breakfast, possibly more. What could we do about it? Let's burn some calories. Let's march round the deck with purpose, meaningfully, and burn off some of those calories. There we are. There is actually a walking track. And there's a one-way system in operation, so let's not annoy everybody and go the wrong way round. Let's go clockwise, which is what's going on. See there, walk this way round. Don't walk the other way round. We're going at a fair clip. We're going at a fair pace, almost Olympic standards. Fairly pleasant day out there. I'd say it's about 78 or 80. That's about 24 or 26 degrees. Oh, one straggler dropped out. We're almost on an Olympic pace here for a four minute mile. Should have a pedometer on myself. I'm sure it's saying 35 miles an hour. What's going on here, roof garden? Temporary pit stop. Okay, so we've got pickleball in operation. Hang on, let's just break off this Olympic walking. See, there we are. We could be the Hamptons. Pickleball in operation. Ooh, fair amount of intensity going on here. Meantime, a bit of on-deck horticulture going on. I thought those were fake, but no, I'm wrong. They're real. Am I in a danger area? Oh, I was. I better step back. Look at how easy this is. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up, as it lets us know we're on the right track, and you'd like to see more of this type of material. Okay, we've walked around the deck, we've lost approximately 10 pounds in the effort, but if we want to lose just that little bit more, what's that noise I hear in the background? They're ramping up the music for some Latin American dance instructions with the cruise director, Luigi. Okay, so we've now mastered Latin American dancing. We're epic pros. We could almost enroll ourselves in Dancing with the Stars, but I feel a little bit guilty because it's only a little bit of exercise. Whereas my wife, Hailey, she's in the gym slogging it out. I feel like for a bit of moral support, I ought to go and say, well done, let's go to the gym. We're feeling peaceful and relaxed already. Are we de-stressing and detoxing? Is it mentally working? Ah, here she is, here's my wife, working away, looking out to sea. Well done her, exercising into oblivion, whereas I, in contrast, have been eating into oblivion. Is it lunchtime yet? Apparently it was lunchtime, and the Eden Cafe was calling my name. You can get a good view here of exactly the way this is laid out. It's on three levels. You've got the cafe in the middle there, which is a daytime section for your lunch and breakfast. And downstairs is the Eden restaurant, one of their select speciality restaurants, which comes at an extra fee. It's something that's a little bit unique to the celebrity edge class of ships. So they have a selection of light bites. It's like a cafe. So we have some toasties and open sandwiches, such as today they have some tuna pita, some turkey and cranberry chia batter, some vegetarian avocado, and a chicken pesto sandwich. So I've been given a bleeper. I'll just walk round in circles until then, admiring all the scenery and the decor and all the activity and hubbub in the Eden. It is a bit like a Garden of Eden. I wonder if that's what they were going for when they called it this. It's an intriguing multi-use area, the Eden Cafe. It's a place to prop up your feet and read your book or your media device. Okay, I feel a vibration in my pocket, which means lunchtime is ready at Eden. Here comes my pesto sandwich, thank you. That looks good. Let's go off to a little corner and try that one out and report back. Now to find a seat. Let's go up here, follow our plate out to sea. Tell you what, the aroma is good. Can you smell that? smell a vision it smells good. We've got to go round and round. It's a bit like being at Epcot at Disney. You know that? So when you go round and round and round that huge ball, that's what I feel like here. So, here we go. The chicken and pesto. Bon appétit. Let's see what that's like. Okay, I can report back that chicken and pesto deli style sandwich was very good. 8 out of 10. Okay, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon, first sea day on a celebrity. What does that mean on the ascent? Art auction day. And here's my bidding card, which says that I'm very interested. And what do you get at art auctions? 
champagne from here field. Once again, a wonderful afternoon, friends and family of the Senate. I'm definitely here for the art. That's the reason I'm here. Trust me. Now, if it gets hot outside, there is an ice creamery aboard. It's called Scoops, entirely complimentary, just at one end of the buffet. Let's see what they have on offer. Okay, what have they got? Well, that's quite a wide-ranging selection. There's chocolate ice cream, there's plain frozen yogurt, vanilla, peach almond, strawberry coffee. That's a pretty good selection. Ice cream time. Overlooking the sea. Are you counting the calories that have gone into that? You help back at seven. Seven M&Ms. I actually asked for two. Somehow seven got dropped in there. Seven. Yes. That's not exactly a spring. Controlled, reserved. That is not controlled. No, it wasn't controlled. There's caramel sauce all over that. Cold. It's very, very cold. You're eating ice cream. And I've got frozen teeth. Incidentally, with this video, we're looking at the latest, newest, gleaming flagship in the celebrity range. But in a few weeks' time, we'll be trying out the exact opposite and taking a cruise on almost the oldest ship in the celebrity fleet. It's over 22 years old. Why on earth, you might ask, would we be booking this? Because all of the cruise lines now have an inventory of older ships that they haven't retired and they're trying to convince us to go on them. But should we? Are they still worth booking or should you avoid them like the plague? So we thought we'd put it to the test. We'll be on board one of their oldest ships. That video will be titled along the lines of New Celebrity versus Old Celebrity. So remember to look out for that one when it comes out. Well, good morning and welcome to the Grand Cayman Islands. Absolutely gorgeous start to the day. Seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is just peeping out over the horizon. Okay, let's paint the scene. What's going on at this time of day? Well, there's some fairly meaningful walking going on. A couple of people swimming for their country. Been going up and down for, well, let's say weeks. I mean, well down to all these swimmers who've got some purpose and determination to them. Background. Let's get zumba in. Zumba, zumba, zumba. But what do you need before you even set foot ashore? Why, a hearty breakfast. Now, my wife Eileen has said, meet me for breakfast at Eden. Got to find her. There she is. Out of the deck. At the back. Well, hello, here you are. Oh, do you have the deck to yourself? Is this a private deck? Where is everybody? You didn't need a reservation, did you? Ah, it's Carnival Pride, which is also in town. Been on that? Have you been on that? Let us know. Drop your comments in the box. Is it any better than what we're on? Right, having come and made this effort for breakfast, let's see what they've got on offer. And at breakfast time, I wouldn't say it's absolutely packed. It's a healthy selection, so you can have a healthy wrap, and you can have a nice granola bowl, fruit bowl. Because where have you been this morning? Oh, do you know what? Abs class. Abs class. There mm. were seven of us. Mm. You should film it next time. It's quite a what do the other six people want me to film them doing their abs class? Ah, that's it. You can't because it's a private room. Exactly right. So you have to tell us what it's like. For those who haven't been to an abs class, it's seven o'clock in the morning on a celebrity After cruise. You've been on the abs class. Yes. You feel that you can actually have an extra sausage for breakfast. And you've a good thing. But you've actually got coffee. Healthy, healthy, healthy person. Swing around to a very unhealthy person who's done no exercise at the gym this morning, who's now going to go and peruse what's on offer. This is a lovely, quiet, almost secluded spot for breakfast. And Bill has immediately tucked in and placed his order. What have you ordered, Bill? Mm, okay, so I've got a, a, a range there, you see. Healthy and um, less so. But, I tell you what, I can, can you smell that? The smell of the bacon, freshly pressed. Yes, there's a healthy start. Mm. Mm. Oh, blueberry. Right, very definitely time to get off the ship, and our activity on the Cayman Islands was to be swimming with stingrays. Well, 
Welcome to Grand Caymans. We've got some music to welcome us in. Some reggae. Wow, look at this. A huge plethora of tour companies right at the jetty. If you hadn't already have booked your tour tickets on the ship, you could certainly have it here. It's probably the same tour companies offering the same tours. Now, the stingrays are famously offshore, so that requires taking a boat about 45 minutes out to sea. It was a glorious day, temperatures in the high 70s, and the azure blue colour of the sea was absolutely breathtaking. No, I haven't boosted the colours, it really did look like this. And being a sandbar, the water was just knee-high and beautifully warm. Wow, look at them go by. They're all here. It's down here. And the stingrays were just there. Can, can you see it? They're right there. You're right in the middle of nowhere and it's very, very shallow. We're on like a sandbank right out of the sea. It took 25 minutes to get here. Who knew? I saw him chopping up the squid. So that's the bait. Is this the bait? That's the bait. It's in there. That's what we're going to be feeding and luring them in. But they're already here. We're not even on an island. No. Of... Right in the middle of the sea, middle of nowhere. Stingray everywhere. Time for a cuddle with them. Ready to touch a stingray. We were then handed squid to feed them. It took a bit of time to find the mouth, and then whoosh, the squid was gone. The sensation was a little bit like a vacuum cleaner. If you get a chance to book a similar tour, I absolutely would. It's an easy journey from the ship, and it's a memory you will cherish. We really did enjoy our day out in the Caymans swimming with the Stingray, and if you get an opportunity to do it, I would absolutely take it. Meantime, my wife apparently still had bags of energy, so it was up to the pool deck for late afternoon live music. Throughout the cruise, we really enjoyed our afternoons listening to the bands, both here by the pool and at the rear sunset bar. As the sun went down and we sailed through the seas, it was a chilled vibe, drinks in hand, letting life drift by. Right, time for dinner, and this time in the Cosmopolitan restaurant. One of the four main dining rooms, this one specializes in American and international classics. Oh my God, I can finally read the menu today. You see. Because there is sufficient light, finally. Ah, Cosmopolitan, we can see. This is the only restaurant I can read the menu because it's light enough. Mm. So, what is tempting me? Well, there's possibly the pan-seared cod. Cauliflower flan. I was, I was just thinking that was a bit boring, and you suddenly said cauliflower flan. Oh, this, this is the flan. This is the flan. I'm not sure I've seen a flan that looks like that before. Like it looks like a soup. Shrimp. Uh, I think it's pancetta. It looks like a Zen garden. It does. But how is that a flan under anybody's description? It's very pretty. Deconstructed. Well, yes, I'd call it a gravy or a, a, or a soup. Incoming pan seared cod. We don't often order the same dish, but we did on this time, and I can tell you that skin is beautifully crispy. It's crispy, the fish is beautifully cooked, and the um, edamame base and the bottom, and the cream is excellent. I might come back tomorrow for this. Don't often order a dessert, but chocolate cake for me tonight. Creme caramel? Creme brulee. Creme brulee. First dessert of the cruise. You have been very restrained. Great, let me guess. Yes. So a crunch? Yes. And? That is an excellent crunch. Well, compliments to the chef then. We must trot off into the galley and say well done. 
it's like tracing paper tracing paper thin that is one chocolate cake I would order again. We're both delighted with our desserts tonight. Well done, Cosmopolitan Restaurant. Then it was off to some after-dinner theatre, this time with Andrew Derbyshire, one of the regular invited singers with Celebrity. My wife still had bags of energy, so it was off to the nightclub. And you know what? All that violent disco dancing meant we were hungry all over again. Time for a late night snack. Actually, what is almost midnight? Should we see what's on the almost midnight buffet? What can tempt us? Some very tempting looking ganache chocolate brownies. Some caramel brownies. We got some carrot cake, some dolce de leche, some raspberry and chocolate cake. Those little jars are chocolate cappuccino mousse. In the Indian section, we have some pork humba, some mango pickles and fish curry. To really set you dreaming at night, there's some cheese. Incidentally, whilst we were on this cruise, we were not alone. Oh no, there was a film shoot taking place on the ascent. Lights, camera, action, an array of actors and film crew. Because that week, they were producing a series of celebrity TV commercials. Each day, a section of the ship was carefully filmed and photographed. To see how that panned out and how it impacted the cruise, keep a lookout for an upcoming video on our Ritzy Travel Guide channel. As in that, we'll cover what happens when a film shoot is on your cruise and how it can impact you. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you know when that video comes out. Now, lest you think we've gone all sappy on celebrity and only have wonderful things to say about them, occasionally things do go wrong. And this time it was for my wife in the dining room. We were at the Normandy restaurant, so cue appropriate Frenchy sounding music. service yes is fast we're in the normandy tonight and so far we have not had the this escargot is, this is on the everyday menu i love escargot i've been avoiding it but when you say avoiding it you love escargot you mean you've been holding out you've been waiting do you know what i shouldn't have waited so long well order another one immediately on the spot even though you haven't even started that one I don't have an escargot spoon, okay. so... What sauce do we think it's in? And normally it's in butter and garlic, but that looks it's, green. It's butter and garlic, a little bit salt in it. I'm not sure what a green sauce, and maybe a spinach. Grass clippings. The heavy head that salt aside, it's actually a very nice escargot. I have a shellfish gratiné. This has got a lovely crisp topping. Cheese, breadcrumbs, and Normandy. That is a tasty appetizer. All right, just checking in on you again. How's it going? The taste is really nice. Mm. The escargot is beautifully cooked. Yes. If you ask me one thing, I maybe wish they did do mm. is not to put too much salt in it. So, sort of okay for the escargot, but the main course got worse. Okay, update. A few minutes later. The saline meter has gone off the scale. Eileen, my wife, doesn't normally complain. She's normally very stoic. She's normally very chill and very calm and very zen. So for her to say this is too salty is unusual. Are you all right? I should be fine. Okay, so take two. Rarely, very unusual event, my wife sent back one of her main courses. Yes? Based on my knife test, yes, it's going to melt in the mouth. Like butter? Yeah. Better? It was a good decision. It absolutely melts in the mouth. That cream at the end is beautiful. It has a sweet, almost like a plum-like sauce. And look at my knife, right? I don't have to do it. It just 
does it. It's that buttery. So as you can see, it all ended well, and all credit to the staff, they handle it beautifully, and straight away offered any selection of alternative meals that my wife would like. So well done to them. So happy with the duck, we headed for a swift drink at the martini bar, where we found the staff were positively gyrating to Latin music. And then off for another late night session at the club. Welcome to Nassau in the Bahamas. Beautiful day, sun is out, blue sky, seven o'clock in the morning, and we've just tied up. And the Atlantis Paradise Resort is glistening in the distance. And we're docked right beside Holland America and the new Amsterdam. And ahoy there, we have MSC steaming into Nassau. A couple of hours behind everybody else. Is that an ongoing trend? MSC spend less time in each port than everybody else? Let me know if you reckon that's the case. Now, on this channel, we do have an ongoing love-hate relationship. Well, not so much the love with MSC, so we shan't make any comments. We'll zip ourselves at this time. And we're off into Nassau. Let's see what's on offer. Hey, how's the ship looking? Gleaming, you'd have to say, wouldn't you? Gleaming. Oh, group photo. Don't see too many of those around the world, do you? No. Selfie shot. No Quite unusual, that. Now we're going to stop Nassau at exactly this juncture because we do have a dedicated video coming out over coming weeks showing you exactly what we got up to. And you're going to want to watch it as we have some great suggestions of how to do something totally different than what people generally do in Nassau. Amongst other things, we went on to have way too many cocktails. Okay, okay what, what have we got here? Baba Roots, tell us about that one. Oh, this is... <laughs> that, the, the night's going to go well with that one, is it? That's right, man, that's right. It's aphrodisiacs. And then eat conch sashimi by the dock with a larger-than-life chef. His eyes aren't on the food. You know, his eyes are up here. <laughs> that video will be coming out shortly, so remember to be subscribed so you know when that comes out. And as we sail away from Nassau, there goes the ship we're not on. That's the Holland America, New Amsterdam. We're actually on the Celebrity Ascent, a brand new ship. Now, as we mentioned in the first video on our channel, the Ascent has some great deck areas. You've got these wonderful suspended martini-shaped jacuzzis, giving great views out to sea. And apart from that, the Magic Carpet acts as a fantastic observation deck suspended on the side of the ship, perfect for that unobstructed sail away view. Right, time for lobster night in the Tuscan restaurant. Cue suitably Italian-y sounding music. A pretty looking restaurant, the Tuscan. Quite liking the artwork, I don't know what you'd call that. And tonight is one of the dress up nights. Now, there's no formal dress code in Celebrity, but they do hint that you might like to dress up. So it's done very gently, very subtly. They're saying you might wish to dress up tonight. Oh, look at those breadsticks going by. Hey, how are you? Actually, what? Well, I'm not sure why they've given you the menu, because you already know what you want. You knew before we got here. You know what? I don't think they should, they need to give half the people here a menu. Everybody's going to order lobster. I think everybody is going to order lobster. And there we go, braised lobster tail. I tell you what, tonight's menu ticks a lot of the boxes, certainly for me. You've got your herb crusted paddock fillet, you've got your beef wellington, you've got creamy wild mushroom risotto. I'm not sure whether I should be naughty and order two starter and one entree. What? Maybe for God the dessert, would that make up for it? Four main dining rooms, this is the one that I like best. It's got some sass, it's got some pizzazz. When you have a room black and white, and you did well, it can be quite classy. 
Incoming lobster tails. Table side service. Sir butter? Yes, please. Yes, please. I like butter. Very happy with our lobster. It was a clear night outside on deck. So we strolled arm in arm under the boot night. The Ascent and indeed all four of the Celebrity Edge class of ships have really got it right to my mind. In person, it looks so striking. Take a walk around the deck when everybody's almost in bed and you can have the ship to yourself. Make sure you do this on your cruise, leaving just a moment to experience the wind in your hair under the calm skies. But just a moment, all is well in the world. All seems happy. Now, before we wrap up this video, just to give you a heads up on what's coming on our channel in the next few weeks, we'll be releasing our cabin review for the Edge class of ships, and we filmed these on the Celebrity Ascent. We'll be showing you two cabins, the Infinite Veranda, which people either love or hate, and in that video, we'll tell you why. And we've got at least six reasons. We'll also be showing you the ocean view. There are not many videos out about this, so something of a rarity. And as the prices are much lower for ocean view than other categories, it makes cruising quite affordable. And in a couple of weeks, we'll be on an altogether different type of cruise ship, one that is 25 years old. And we'll be asking you the question, should you snap up the bargains being offered right now for older ships? Or would you just be disappointed? That's what we want to find out. Our cruise series after that will be Small Ship Luxury. We'll be tasting the high life, we hope. Small ships give a much different experience to the larger cruises available now. And we'll show you how that feels and whether it would appeal. And that one has some fascinating port stops. More on that to come. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us on the Ritzy Travel Guide. It's been an absolute pleasure having you along with us. Please take a look at our playlists as we have so many cruise and port reviews on our channel. And you can watch some of those videos here and indeed here. We hope you enjoy those and we'll see you over there.